Hello everyone, it's Jeb Hanwerger from goldstocktrades.com. Today we're uh, 723 thir Thursday. And here's a monthly chart going back 10 years and you see here um, you know, some people are saying this is like early 2016, and I really would argue that, that really we've seen a much different, the gold price is much different than we saw in 2016. Uh, so that means that this rally in the juniors is going to look drastically different. You know, where 2016 we had a little bump in gold and the rally failed. Here we were having a sustained rally to test the all-time highs of 2010. Uh, and we're, we may be breaking out um, here you saw here this major back then they those train tracks those bearish train tracks that that caused the uh, a, an interim top and then a 10-year basing prop uh, basing pattern a huge cup now question is is are we gonna test these highs and then create maybe a handle for a couple of months before we um, break into new highs, we'll be watching that. But right now, as we're closing in, if we close now in July above these levels, above that level, um, then, you know, we could be making a major move uh, into the next run. And if you take a measure, measure move, that could take us to maybe 2,500, 2,600, or 260. Um, if you look here, we close about 100 to about 180. So about 80 points, so 260, 2600 approximately. We can look for gold uh, on this measured move if we get a sustained breakout here, and that could really impact our junior miners. Taking a look here at the junior miners, GDXJ, uh, we can see here that this pattern, we had that March uh, sell-off here. Uh, but now we are we're going into new highs. We have this bearish day here, not big volume, but this is um, a little bit of profit taking here. So, uh, you know, we've had this sustained move from it was twenty dollars to low of twenty to sixty. So we may have to see a little profit taking here. Um, but right now the trend is definitely moving higher for the junior miners the junior gold miners uh and we're looking like we're heading into uh, a major um uh, rally here for the juniors again we get a little pause here in silver but we've had a major breakout move here and look at this gap higher breakout gap and i was warning for a couple of weeks that we're going to see a breakout gap move uh, this might be one day pause, but uh, this silver rally could continue uh, and the juniors could continue uh, because we're just beginning silver and the junior miners really track well together. And silver has been basing and the gold silver ratio is favoring gold for many, many years. And now we're seeing a major re rating of silver as investors are looking, you know, to cheaper uh, safety in the form of junior miners and silver. So a uh, major breakout this week in silver. Uh, and we love to see what's going on with the junior silver stocks that are finally beginning to explore and drill uh, these great intercepts. One new company that's come on our radar, if you look at the volume here, it's a new company just started off here, but it's rallying quickly. It's called Silver Dollar SLV on the TSX Venture. They appointed Durning and Hillemeyer as advisors. Very important when you see a new company uh, that appoints these sorts of people, uh, Perry Durning and, and Bud Hillemeyer. Uh, these guys have discovered multiple multiple mines uh, in, in Mexico. Uh, and when you see a company that only has less than 20 million shares outstanding, uh, it's time to you know put that on the radar because uh, you get these quality guys joining with this sort of uh, share structure. It's something that we should put on our radar. It's called Silver Dollar, um, and it, the symbol's SLV on the TSX Venture. I've been highlighting Eric Sprott and uh, the Wallbridge discovery in Quebec and the Fenelon, which is becoming a huge $1 billion company. But it appears in the last podcast that Eric's saying that once he reach a billion-dollar company, 
it's hard to really take it to two billion. So he's just put money into this little company called Great Thunder Gold, which has uh, a position around Walbridge in that Fenelon camp. And uh, you could see here that it's only got uh, 20, 26 million shares outstanding. And uh, Eric Sprott's coming in, a strategic advisor. So keep an eye on this Walbridge, which looks like uh, this Walbridge camp, this Fenelon camp, and this little company called Great Thunder Gold, GTG, on the venture. Just starting out, 26 million shares, but getting a big endorsement by Eric Sprott today with $2.6 million, $2 million financing. And look at this move in BlackRock Gold um, since they came out with those great drill results where they hit three meters of over 2,200 2, grams per ton silver in Nevada. They just arranged a $7.5 million financing, and that's being led again by Eric Sprott, who's going to be purchasing $5 million of the offering. And uh, again, we're seeing a pattern here of these uh, companies that come out with good results, get funding, market likes it and it goes pretty much parabolic with a huge gain for investors so we're we're watching this pattern very closely we saw it with free gold we saw it with outcrop outcrop had a little bit of a correction today after a huge move i sent out the chart when it was trading breaking out 40 cents it went to like 80 cents so now it's pulled back a little bit that's going to happen uh it's not going to go up in a straight line uh, but these are the stories that are getting attention, they're getting money, they're getting financing. Another one that we're putting on our uh, radar and we're highlighting is uh, Phoenix Oro, F-E-N-X. Uh, they are drilling in Colombia right next to the old Bertica mine uh, that was taken out. Uh, Continental Gold was taken out for over a billion dollars, two billion dollars by the Chinese. This company is just getting started. They just got DTC eligibility, which means that investors in the U.S. will be able to buy. And then they just came out with news that the they sampled up to 41 grams per ton at the uh, Abriaqui project. This is the same Stuart Moeller, the same team, same guy that helped discover the Buratika mine. And right now they're working on something that's nearby and it's showing a lot of similarities. Um, and they're about to get a permit and start drilling. I ex expect when they get the permit and start drilling and possibly get news, they should probably get a big strategic investor. Um, you know, if they can follow up on these sample results um, so we should be hearing news. They say that the drilling uh, permit uh, is imminent. So um, we're going to be, you know, listen, looking out for that. The company continues to anticipate that it will receive the final water use permit that will allow for the commencement of its planned 6,000 meter drill program. So we're excited about that uh, and that they just got DTC eligibility. That might be a sign that investors are just beginning to come out up on uh, understand the story and with the 62 million shares and a 50 cent um, stock that's only a 30 million market cap when you think of what uh, Buratika was sold for uh, you and you're getting the same people and right next door the same sort of mineralization a, a Bur Buratika style something that we should put on our radar and uh, and and uh, look into and finally, for today, I'd like to put another one on your radar. It's called uh, Enduro Metals. Uh, they came out with great results, which I uh, highlighted on the, my Twitter when it came out with 144 meters of, of three, gra three, three gram plus um, gold material. That's a pretty significant intercept that was overlooked. And now we see that they've arranged an $8 million financing, and that's being led by the famous Rob McEwen. So that's getting some significant interest and boost today. In a market that is very mixed for some reason with the mining stocks profit taking, even though gold is up, there's concerns with the NASDAQ looking, looking a little top, uh, top, top, uh, topping here and um, concerns, you know, of, of maybe some people raising, getting off of margin, taking some profits uh, before, 
you know, possibly another second leg lower um, as the numbers and economic numbers continue to look difficult. So stay tuned to Gold Stock Trades. Please review this uh, video. Uh, many uh, companies that we're, we're looking, uh, and, you know, if, especially if you're looking to finance uh, companies, you can always speak to me um, if you're high net worth or you're an institution. Um, there's some good opportunities uh, that I'm, I'm looking into, um, private placement wise. Uh, you can always uh, email me or text me or, uh, you know, if you have any interest, uh, and that's for high net worth investors. Uh, but subscribers can always text me if you have any questions uh, or any opportunities that you see that are, that are happening. Uh, together, teamwork makes the dream work. And uh, some of the best information I get is from my premium subscribers, which are the smartest people in the mining sector. So stay tuned to Gold Stock Trades, July 23rd, Thursday. Uh, silver breaking out, gold breaking out, just a little pause in the mining stocks. Um, but we're in the right place to be. I'm not sure if I want to be in tech right now with those record PEs and looking topping, topping. But these junior miners just appear to be breaking out of long, long bases technically. Uh, and the charts look really set up for, for major moves. Stay tuned to Gold Stock Trades. I'm always here for any questions or comments.